Welcome back guys, back in the unit. Um, thought I'd just give you a quick update what is happening. Um, so I've moved some shelving over. Um, this is what I was using on the loft. So I had that, obviously, uh, that's B. I've got another one to come over, which I had with C. Um, and then I had these, which I picked up. So I've got another one of them as well. Um, and they just, when I sort of brought them in, I was does that, I don't really look that, big um so i have decided to get some others luckily i found some yesterday uh, so facebook marketplace i found uh, two lots um for 20 quid so two lots of shelving um, which are a bit bigger than these and a bit wider i think i haven't put them together yet so <laughs> it could be a repeat of that one but we'll see um yeah so i figure i can put them here just and just change those to a instead um, actually, someone pointed out in my uh, comments section, my last video, um, someone suggested putting using A, A, and then A, B, and then A, C, um, because it just, it makes it easier, so if you ever go past, obviously, the 26 letters, then you can just go on to B, A, B, 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 C. So then you've got 26 times 26 amounts that you can have. So if I ever take this business global <laughs> and, and I happen to have a lot of shelving, which would be wonderful, but also a lot of stress, then at least it gives me the option. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to change these. Sorry to jibber on. I'm going to change these to A, A, and then that's a A, B, A, C, A, D, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then if I ever get another unit, I can call that B or whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so I think the plan is to go along this wall first. Um, I was sort of contemplating doing it in this way um, and then I thought I might be able to get more in but I don't think I will because there's still any gaps between them. Like that. So I think what I'll do is I'll have them that way um, and then if need be I can bring these out and put like another row down the middle and then just have it sort of both sides and then I can have that side which is just that's the that minute this side is all my stock which is to go back on the shelves um, so yeah it's just a, it's a work in progress and I um, it's quite fun trying to work out how best to do it I'm also I'm in an iron about maybe getting a desk in here so at least I can I'll get a table so I can set up the photos and get some lighting so I can get some photos done, put it on the shelves and then go home and list it. Uh, that might be an option, but we'll see. I picked this up yesterday as well, not yesterday, a couple of days ago. Um, this is just a box I got from the garden centre, but it seems to fit all my tool items in, which is very handy. Uh, I was expecting to go get some uh, another load of books and, and I said I was going to hire a van, but that's not happening until Saturday now. So um, just because I couldn't get into the place to get the books, so I've got a van hired. I'm going to get those. So I want to try and try and clear as much space as I can today, so then I can just load all the books, all the boxes of books and bags of books and stuff, get them all over, and then I know what I've got and what I'm working with, and then go from there. So lots to do, lots to get done. Uh, I'm going to build some shelving first, first job, um, and then I can start loading the stuff up on the shelves. I've got two orders to pick while I'm here, which is handy. Um, I need to find out where one is. I think one is in box seven, I think. Um, and this, I'll show you this now because this sold tennis racket. Um, I don't tend to pick these up, but I was in a charity shop buying some a few other bits, and they just came in. Um, and I sort of had a quick look, and it's a uh, a Wilson one, it looked quite good. Well, I didn't realise at the time there's a, if you can see there, there's like a bit of rubber missing. Um, but I, I, so I sort of checked and listed it at £25 plus postage. It cost me £3, I think it was. Um, someone sent me an offer of 20 quid after a couple of days and I took it because I don't really like selling this kind of stuff, but it's um, £3 and 20 in a few days is pretty, pretty good. So, um, just got to worry about packaging up now because it's not obviously big, it's not heavy, it's just awkward. I just need to get a better box around it. Um, but yeah, 
Right, I shall crack on with the shelves and report back when they're done. Well, that took longer than expected, but um, they're up. So we have shelves, that's good. Um, just took a bit longer because I haven't got a wooden mallet or you know, I haven't, I haven't got a rubber mallet to bash them together. So just trying to bash them together with my hands and because they're old, all but uh, bent. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're, they're fine, they, they've gone together okay, but just a bit trickier than they probably would have been if they were brand new. Uh, that's working on there. <laughs> it looks good. What do you think? think it looks good. You can fit quite a few books on those, so that'll be good. Um, and then I can still... Uh, this one here I was using just for lightweight stuff, so I can still use that for lightweight stuff, which I might just leave over here maybe. Um, or maybe even a good zin. No, it's probably too heavy for it. Good zin might be too heavy for it. Um, yeah, so I should. So I'm, I'm going to move those boxes. Um, and then I'll just have racking all the way down here. With books on. And then I can have another row. If need be next to it. And then good zin down this side. Yeah. It's going well. Um, right. Time to start labelling up some shelves. Getting some books on them. Um, yeah, so that'd be good. So these have got five shelves and they're wider. Um, and the ones I had have got four shelves, um, so that's good. When I, a uh, yeah, point I made of, of doing is when I labeled these up, is that I started, so a one at the bottom, because um, I knew that would definitely be the bottom one. Um, and then you can go up as high as want, so if I need to put extra bits on top of this, which obviously I can't, but. Um, yeah, so if you're doing kind of skew systems like that, make sure you put the one at the bottom, I think it's best, unless anyone's got any better ideas, but, but make sure you put the first shelf at the bottom shelf and work up. There we go. Uh, there's obviously some gaps, but that's where my shelves were getting a bit empty at home and I wasn't putting stuff back on them because I knew I was coming over here. So um, yeah, there's obviously some more fuller shelves. That was the top shelf, so I, I had piled that up quite high on top of this. And so it was like up, yeah, up here somewhere when I was putting books on it still. So yeah, that's why that one's quite full, but um, a lot of these as well, probably will start bundling up. I left it um, because I knew I was moving. I had a feeling I'd be moving at some point. So um, some, some like these, which are Jim Kelly. There's like three of those uh, Jim Ford. Um, there's the three of those and in the far side, that kind of stuff. I might just bundle those all in together. Uh, Catherine Fox as well, because none of them really sell for much. So I'll just bundle them in. Um, same with these two, I think. Lots of other ones, but yeah, I've got so many books on here. Obviously, you saw it goes too deep, and so I'm looking forward to filling these up. I haven't done B yet because the B shelf I was using was the plastic one, um, which had a lot of lightweight stuff in it, and I don't really want to put lightweight stuff on this. So, I'm not sure whether to. I've got another shelf, I've got my C shelf, which is at home. Um, I might put all that on there and update the skews maybe. Um, or I'll just put new stock on there and then I'll just update it as I go. Um, the stuff that was on B already wasn't much, it was, it was mostly say lightweight stuff, so all like the two games and stuff like that, and there's a lot of games and stuff in here. 
this was the other item I sold, which I dug out. And that sold for a whopping one ninety nine plus postage. Um, I've had it listed for about three, four months and there was no real value in it. So I, I relisted it a day ago um, for one ninety nine um, plus postage. So yeah, I'll, I'll make some money on it, but I hardly anything. So not really worth it, but it's gone and out the door. I'm gonna head home now. Uh, I've got some packaging to do. Um, and then I've got to go and, and get my other half and my son later. So yeah, lots to get done. Yeah, I've still got a shelf up the top of there, I forget about that. Um, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to getting all my stock in here tomorrow. So probably next time you see it, I'm not sure whether I record actually bringing the boxes in because my other half with me and she doesn't like being on camera. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably just show it once it's all in here. Um, and you'll be able to see the crazy amount of boxes I will probably have. Um, so don't forget, I've got about 30 boxes at my mum's. But that's probably about half of what I need to get. Um, luckily, I've emptied a load of boxes. So I'm going to put some more books in those tomorrow. Get some the bags. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've got lots of books coming. Lots to work through. But it'd be good, I'd be, be able to just grab a couple of boxes, throw it in the car, take them home, work through them, put them on a shelf, be all good. Um, so yeah, quite looking forward to it. But for now, I shall leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed my journey into a storage container. Maybe you're thinking about getting one yourself. Please feel free to ask me any questions. Um, I've I hadn't really mentioned it, but I kind of thought there's no real point not mentioning it. Um, but it's cost me 185 a month, which is a lot cheaper than a lot of other places I saw. Uh, and I thought it's a good stepping stone as well. So I, if I want to go to the next level. It's if I know I can afford this, then it gives me more confidence that yeah, the rest will be fine. I, I think it really it just it works out an extra. 50 quid a, a week really that I, of extra stock that I've got to get listed which I'm sure you know, giving them out of space would be a lot easier um, so I can buy bigger items, store them over here and um, pick up anything for free so yeah it's um, I, I think it'll, I'll cover the cost easily just with the amount of stock I can get uh, on here, um, in here yeah but there we go I shall leave it here thank you very much for watching um, I shall leave another video up here, I think, or up here. Um, so feel free to go watch that. Um, and a playlist here and subscribing is around about here-ish, probably, the picture of me. Um, but thank you very much, and I shall see you, see you soon. Thank you, bye-bye.